Alright ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on the studio, and I'm here on the studio to talk about, um, my next NFL preview. Yesterday I started with the NFC East, I did my Dallas Cowboys, and uh, now I'm here to do the next team in the NFC East. I'm here today to talk about the New York Giants. Wow, so exciting. I know, right? So exciting, you know. Daniel Jones. Ooh, no Barkley. It's gonna be such so exciting. Yeah, so I'm I'm so sarcastic. I'm such a smart ass. Um we had the Giants last year. Um they had a playoff appearance in twenty twenty two and low key you're really disappointed last year with them. You know, if you're a Giants and you were expecting a better year last year, you weren't expecting like a big you're gonna be much better than twenty twenty two, but you were thinking, oh, we could still have make a playoff appearance if you're a Giants fan, but when you when you get then they got blown at the start of the year by my Cowboys. I'm like this. I'm like this Giants team's gonna be trash. Daniel Jones is trash. Offensive line is trash. They they just had no chance to see Daniel Jones regressed from 2022, and I think he'll be the starter in 2024, but. Oh, this could be his last year as a giant, to be honest. Because I just don't, I don't think he's going to prove that much. I really don't. Losing Barkley, you had Devin Singletary. Devin Singletary's a solid running back. But he's... That's not really going to help you that much. Just receiving-wise... Um... I feel like uh, Malik Neighbors will be the big playmaker for him. Uh, Jalen Hyde's definitely not a guy to sleep on because he. I, I, I watch him at Tennessee a lot because you know I'm a Kentucky fan. I'm watching and I want watch a lot of SEC football. Jalen Hyde's good. He just needs to get an opportunity to be honest and just see what they have. Play play your young receiver. See what you have. But as for uh, the season summary last year for the Giants, that's my opening monologue right there. Uh, they disappointed. After their playoff appearance in 2022, beginning at the start of the season, when they got blown out by my Dallas Cowboys by like what 40, it felt like it was a 40 point blowout. I don't, I don't remember what the final score of that game was. I think Jones for Gray, so at the time it remained seen, seen if he'll be the starter in 2024 in the off season, but it's clear now he'll be the starter. I mean, he needs to have a big year because if he doesn't, then he might be out as out as a starter, and they might just. Tank, or they could just tank and draft a quarterback, man. Like Shadur Sanders, uh, Quinn Ewers, possibly. Maybe one of those two guys. Uh, their big offseason loss. They had some offseason losses, probably more than just this one. But this was their big offseason loss. Shaquan Barkley. Can we get a Pendejo face for Joe Sheen? I, I remember he said something hard knocks. Um, according, according to my sources, we're going to ha have a chance to keep Shaquan Barkley. Pendejo face. Uh, according to my sources. What what sources? What do you, what do you need sources? You're the GM. What do you need sources for? Like, buddy, you're the GM. It's not like you're just a fan reading something that says according to my sources. Idiot. Yeah, they lost Saquon Barkley. Um, I think he'll do much better with Philadelphia because they have a much better offensive line than uh, the New York Giants. New York Giants offensive line still the offensive line just isn't that great. And Saquon did the best he could with him. Even I thought he had a good year last year. I think he'll do much better with Philadelphia. He'll have more more space to operate. Um, their big offseason addition uh, was Brian Burns from the Carolina Panthers. I think it's a good addition there to, you know, pair with Kayvon Thibodeau uh, on the edge. They can be uh, both both edge rush quarterbacks, so I like that move with Brian Burns. But their early draft picks, um, I thought they had some pretty good draft picks here. Uh, wide receiver uh, Malik Neighbors uh, out of LSU, one of the best receivers in college football last season. Obviously, this was the obvious pick, because you need a playmaker. When Saquon left, you really don't have that playmaker, but now you have it. Safety, Tyler Newman to add to their secondary, basically replace uh, Xavier McKinney, who they lost in the offseason, so they lost him in the offseason. I didn't mention that, but they did lose him. Uh, cornerback, Andrew Phillips out of Kentucky. I mean, he, he was pretty, he was solid last year for Kentucky, so 
saw a move there for the Giants. Um, Tidy and Theo Johnson, they'll be a work in progress. I felt it's a kind of developmental pick. I mean, it's what that's all the draft picks, but the top players are like these generational players that will be your future. Theo Johnson's going to be a work in progress, but hey, they need a tight end. If they can get him to work, then that's good for them. Running back Tyrone Tracy, a linebacker Darius uh, Moasai, or how do you say his name? For the offense, I think Malik Neighbors will be their big-time playmaker this year. I don't think Daniel Jones will be any good. Uh, Singletary is solid. The O-line is meh. Just, just a mid-offense overall. They're definitely going to rank it low bottom in the bottom scoring category. Their defense, a uh, pretty weak cornerback group, if I'm being honest. Like, they have a good pass rush. Like, their pass rush is better adding... Uh, Cor I'm about to say, I was about to say Corbin Burns. Uh, Brian Burns. Um, they replaced McKinney with um, Tyler Newbin in the draft. I'm going to say a 5-12 record for the New York Giants in 2024. I really don't think this team's going to be in any good at all. Uh, but yeah, that's my preview, and prediction, my preview and prediction for the Giants. So until next time, I have a lot. Peace. Leave a like, come subscribe for more. Peace.